Oh, viewer, beware! You're in for a scare! Ah, uh, yes, my name is Dracula. I smoke the weed. That is right, yes. I suck blood and smoke the weed. Sprint through the floors so you can actually get to a few hundred down where it starts actually getting creepy and less childish. Ah! I think this is stuff that you guys told me last time. I don't remember. May maybe I was aware of this. Uh, my memory is pretty fucking terrible, as you know. Um, but I just kind of never expected this to get that creepy. But please purchase the Vine Sauce Executive Edition if you wish to see the really scary bits. You know, you know what I mean? The Executive Edition. What you do is you go to your toilet and you donate a couple of cents. You'll, you'll come back to Twitch. And you'll have access to the executive edition. That's how you do that. That's I, the the toilet money goes directly to me, so don't worry. It'll it'll find its way eventually. Spouting, splashing, soaking, innards, ingest, invoking, nailing, never stops. To cook the choking. See you later. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ah! The music changed. I don't think it's following me anymore. <laughs> wow, even a cute little spider like that. It's just at the right moment, it can really do a number on you. Oh fuck, this thing's following me again. Vinny, did you hear that the Kansas City Royals are having a Rusty Cunts bobblehead giveaway? No. That sounds great. You gotta go- you gotta go get it. Alright, when does this chode stop following me? Is the real question. I think it did. I just had to hurt its feelings and call it a chode, and then it stopped. Wait, was I just going around in circles? Okay. I... <laughs> okay, so there's some psychological shit happening. There's there's some weird stuff. Toast. Powdered toast. Man! <laughs> Hi. What's- what's your deal? I, I like how this thing, this cardboard cutout of a cute ghost, caused four fatalities. Well, I guess a heart attack would do it. Also, I feel like they're kidnapping, like, grandpas. Butt grandpas, as test subjects. Huh. Whoa, okay, spider. Nice. <laughs> Fuck off. I have to get out of here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Scary coffee. The only scary coffee I've seen are the prices they charge for a artisanal glass of coffee. Sorry, cup of coffee. Yes, you know what? Yes, glass of coffee. I've seen it. Have I ever heard of that nitro coffee? No, but have you ever heard of that Australian coffee? That's half the amount of caffeine needed for a lethal dose. I forget what it's called, but it's, it's some, like, really fucked up strong coffee that if... that has way too much caffeine in it. Strong ass coffee or something like that. You are here. Look, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. That's helpful. Thanks. I too like to play Tetris on my map. Have I ever heard of Dark Coffee the Wise? I, you're about to, you're about to be added to my meme list. And once you're on the meme list, you don't get off the meme list. It's literally called the Ass Kicker, served in Adelaide, Australia. There you go. Okay, we got- we got flashlights, we got lockers. We're- we're now in haunted high school. Oh! 
Karin, Karin Chan. What is this music? <laughs> this does not sound like scary horror game music. This is like remove pantsu music. I know after talking about coffee, I kind of want a cup too, but I, I really, really don't think that would. It's log. It's log. It's stump. I don't really don't think that would be a good idea. I know it's not a good idea. I want to try to, motherfucker. I want to try to sleep tonight so I can wake up and enjoy Switchmas and all that nice disappointment that I'm I'm surely in for. It's amazing too because I was talking about that really expensive cup of coffee that you could get. Ding. If you are a boy and you see see a pretty girl, let it go. Ding ding. Starbucks always tastes burnt to me. Maybe I'm not sophisticated. An arch degree makes it taste better. Oh, that's how that works? I think it's just expectation, really. But, you know, I think um, it, it also depends on your, your personal preference. I've had expensive coffee that was good. I've had expensive coffee that was bad. But, man, there's nothing quite like just a shitty cup of deli, like, sewage coffee. Oh, God. This coffee tastes like shallots. Russet's potatoes. Hey dudes. It's your old pal. Funky Kong. Yeah. I know walking around the same rooms over and over again can be totally bodacious. But keep your chin up. Something fucked up will scare you eventually. Cat box. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this advertisement? What is it? I thought it was Nicolas Cage. Better ingredients, better pasta. That's the power of the Home Depot. Minus the tea. Yeah, my guilt- Okay, so this is a uh, Silent Hill thing. It is more Silent Hill, you're right. And, and, and the fog just goes to prove it. That's interesting. Now that, that's more Silent Hill, right? Oh. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, I should look at that. Is this the happy mask salesman? Alright, this is definitely Zelda. There's definitely Zelda references. There's masks on the wall. The torches are kind of similar to Zelda's torches. Hey, you cut tools on the... is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. Game over. Your soul wanders in endless maze. What a cute little game for children. Someone says, I seem to ha remember you having negative things to say about this game. What changed? When the HD version was announced, and I realized how many people actually wanted me to stream this, Playing the original version, it was a lot different than I expected it to be. I thought it was just going to be jump scare after jump scare after jump scare. I thought it was going to be just kawaii things. <laughs> I don't know how better to explain it. But it turns out there's actually some really, really clever things that happen in this game. And I just had to give it a chance to find out. Mostly, the tributes to the various monsters in like every horror game. It's actually, yeah, it's actually a pretty cool game, and it's it's kind of tense. It gets tense. And it's kind of a parody of all the horror games that I've hated. Which makes me like it more. Oh my god. Come 
Can we... Can you not hurt me? You need to turn around when he goes up. That kind of makes sense. Gah! Mall of the Spook. <laughs> so their heads just explode? Okay. But what about this knife? Is this like one of those, um... Did you guys ever see the knives that you push into someone? Or like, they, they demonstrate it by pushing it into a watermelon? And, it, and the watermelon just explodes? I think it's like a hydraulic knife. And there's like canisters of compressed air inside of it. You stab, you press button, it explodes. The person. You know, their insides. You know, their... Lungs. Heart. Various organs. I can't remember. Why did I come here? Was there ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions and I'm having sudden violent heart palpitations. Palpitations behind it all. Guys, I have the perfect idea for a video game. Okay, think about it. Think about it. Minecraft House of Jump Scares. Holy shit! I gotta make it and send it to some YouTubers. I told you when we went to the YouTube, um, gaming party, everyone was- everyone <laughs> was like a Minecraft YouTuber. Oh, yours is the first size! It turns out that video game streamer is synonymous with Minecraft streamer. There's always money in the frozen Minecraft banana stand. Did I just get... shanked? WHY AM I BEING f- what the fuck? It's- it's spooky, pale Japanese schoolchild with fucked up face. Got it. Stan! I thought that was Goatsy. For a brief second there, I thought the thing on the wall was go- Oh god, alright, I gotta run. Explain to some of the viewers what Goatsy is. It's just a nickname for a little goat. A wee little Scottish goat. Nothing to worry about. He's like little Goatsy. How you doing, Goatsy? Don't look it up. Nah, man, we've got, um... Nah, yeah, yeah, we've got, like, uh, this new horror game. It's called Molyneux's House of Jump Scares. We've got 10,000 rooms, mate. And they're alive. We've got a new system, it's called Living Breathing Rooms. And, like, they see you, and the rooms react to you and stuff, man. 10,000! Dynamic, we, we wrote physics to do it, mate. Yeah, it was crazy, right? <laughs> Buy the game. Well, my internet died. They heard me doing the, um, Sean Molyneux voice, and they just, they just killed my net. So I tweeted this picture I made a while back to Verizon, and then my internet came back. Within minutes. Yo. Yo. Check it out. It's a fucking floating brain. Yo, one time I got so fucking high, I felt like I was a fucking floating brain. If you don't remember the story, or if you weren't here for it, Mike and I had a friend who said he got- there was like a time he got so fucking high, like he used to just do all, too much drug. <laughs> too much drug, okay? We're not talking like a little bit of drug for experimental purposes, we're talking too much. And one of those times he- he said he felt like a floating brain. He was like, oh, I'm a floating brain! And that's how the floating brain thing came about. <laughs> oh, that's good. No. Oh. Well, I get to kill. What the fuck was that?
Spooky, please. No. It's the dear lord. Oh god. It's the dear god. Someone said earlier, count how many times you say the word me in your album. Well, hopefully that'll be rectified a little bit this next one. But, uh, all the songs will be about you. Both Mike and I, we write about a character in the first person perspective. So, yes, the word, um, the word me does show up quite a bit. That, and I'm also a fucking raging narcissist. I'll just start replacing the, the words with chat members. Except, you're all gonna be just called someone in chat. And the song's gonna be called someone in chat. No, the chat member, I Love Dicks, will not be in any song. There will not be a song about the chat member whose name is, and I quote, I Love Dicks. There's no way I would write a song about I Love Dicks. Sorry. He's a good dude. I met him. But I am not about to write a song about that particular chat member. <laughs> He's upset. Let's talk about how celery makes sperms ropey. That's a good topic for a song. That'll be on Blood Bagel 4. Sperm Kano. People are saying, is that true? I don't know. <laughs> is it? This is what I heard. I learned that in high school. In religion class. The priest was telling me about it. About the celery rope thing. Mental. He said you could shoot for days. You have to keep it close. It becomes something else when it gets too far away. Something I can't outrun. Um. Um. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. You have teeth, vagina, chest, cavity. Oh yeah. That's my favorite Beach Boy song. Teeth, Vagina, Chest Cavity! Yes, Teeth, Vagina, Chest Cavity will be on the new record. Did I listen to the video that has every Michael Jackson grunt? Why am I reading chat while I have a Tooth Vagina thing chasing me? Actually, the answer is yes. I did see that video. It was, it was pretty great. Whoa! Oh my god. That's why you don't run. That's why you don't run. Did you see what it did? It became like a fucking... a slug with fast speeds. That's what happens when you have a lot of celery in your diet. I already forgot which way I went. Isn't that cool? Uh, wow. Good job. There's a dead ding. If you are a spook and you see a pretty spook, let it go ding ding. Room 6666 was uneventful. That should be like a special room. Spooky, why you no make special room for room 666? Ah, you are, you say. What'd you say there? What are you doing? Help! Taste the beef. The fuck? We're in Berg joint? Ah, uh, yes, I'll have, um, 100% beef burg. I'll have... a McFuckit. Uh, and a McJape, please. Thank you. I, I like how it says 100% beef, and it looks like the cow is in hell. I actually got hit with, um, pretty wonderful existential crisis yesterday while I was driving back from Pennsylvania. I was listening to that last podcast on the left, and they were playing some, um... Particularly, um, strange audio clips, like mysterious recordings, like the bloop, and sounds from space, and the rings of Saturn. But space has no sound. There's some, like, type it yourself. I, I can't really explain it. I'm, I don't know if you know this, I'm not a scientist, but 
you can measure a certain, there's a, a certain reading you can get off of Saturn's rings. And it's roughly translated into a sound, basically. But, um... <laughs> I'm no scientist! It's like electromagnetic stuff they convert into sound. Yeah, so I mean, maybe I, I just explained it a little bit wrong, but... Um... The idea being that the, um... The rings make a... When you, when you translate them to sound, it's, it's very off-put... off-putting. One of the other things, number stations... Picture driving. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God, it's the god of fast food. It's El Satan. This is gonna be like, this is Guy Fieri's final form. Come on, right here. Oh, fuck. Did you see that? There was no door. Fuck that. So, um, now again, this is a podcast where they just, they take the piss out of it, right? They, there's a lot of levity, there's a lot of jokes, there's a lot of inappropriate jokes. So, I'm listening to these mysterious sounds. Picture you're driving on the highway, and it's dark. We're talking, like, Pennsylvania roads. It's real dark, and I have to put on my brights a little bit here and there. And there's not a lot of cars on the road. And it's just dark forests and your thoughts. And then they play the clip of the Russian cosmonaut that was this recording, this this thing that was intercepted. I think it's the, like, maybe they were testing Sputnik and she was basically heading back to the atmosphere, burning up, saying shit like, I'm so hot. I'm so hot. Will I make it? Am I going to be able to make it? Hot fucking damn. Did that just totally destroy me? Thanks. See you later. Wait a minute. It says I have unlimited stamina, but I can't run anymore. Fuck. God damn it, Spooky. There was one- oh man. The one that I- I loved. I- I know this one is so and fake and, and has been fake. Since I- I've been listening to Coast to Coast AM when I was a kid. And it was the sounds of hell, where the Russians drilled like eight miles into the earth just to see what was going on in in that like in, in a certain layer and the temperatures were reaching like 2000 degrees and some of them were saying it's hollow it's hollow and uh the recording is this the sounds of hell now listen since we're playing a, a scary game i'm gonna play this for you So, again, that's- that's totally fake. You know it's fake, I know it's fake. But driving on a dark desert highway, the cool wind in my hair, the warm smell of colitas rising up through the air, in the dark something distance, something welcome to the Hotel California. Basically, it's spooky, is what I'm trying to say. And I, um, I didn't expect that episode to- to really kind of get to me a little bit. But it did. I think it was also part of me hitting a midlife crisis at the age of 31. Which means I've got another 31 years, I believe. The Black Knight satellite is some 12,000 year old shit in space that's just floating there. Why don't we take a look at the Black Knight? The Black Knight satellite conspiracy theory. Now again, I'm not speaking to the validity of all this. I'm sure there's research. I don't know it. That's maybe something NASA related. Maybe NASA took these photos. Here you go. I think that's- that's the photo. That's the reason they call it the Black Knight, I would imagine, because it looks like a dude on a fucking horse. To me, it looks like a dude on a speeder from Star Wars. It's Count Dooku, everyone. Um... What the fuck? Okay, that was pretty good. That actually got me. NASA says it's most likely a thermal blanket lost during a mission. Next year you're gonna be telling me about space pillows. I can hear him coming down the hallway. I need to hide, but I don't know where. I know this is not an exit. 
or a resting place. It, it's just another specimen room. I think he's outside the door now. Fuck. Fuck. The moon is made of Parmesan. Confirmed. Oh, I never played Clock Tower. Step. Step right up. Come on, you know. Come on, it's time to go to the Mario. Please go home. Inside the box. Don't leave or you will die. I have a theory. I think it's the pseudo mansion. I think it's playing with my head. I still hear him. I must find that man and kill him with the sickle I found in the forest. His victims. Right? Coming at you with a fucking sickle? Hey? Eh? Um. Fuck. Fuck! What? What do you mean? Oh, come on! I gotta do that all over again? <sighs> Fucking stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Come on, give me a second. Like, I didn't know the floating brain was gonna get out of there. I thought it was just gonna, like, die. I thought I was doing a good thing. I was taking it off life support. I was removing it from its fluids. Talk about MK Ultra. I actually don't know enough about MK Ultra. Um, I know it's a Muse song, because, I mean, you could tell Matt Bellamy that there are, like, goblins that control the oil companies that fly around in little hovering UFOs and also, like, enslave goats. And Matt Bellamy would believe it and write a few songs about it. Perhaps an entire album. Method Drowning, an ancient water-dwelling creature. It's the lady in the water from M. Night Shyamalan. To be lost soul, who died tragically during the deluge proved extremely effective against subjects that could not swim or fell for the sep specimen's lore. Um. <laughs> How the fuck does that work? The lantern got snuffed out. Research Report 7. All the staff is gone, only I remain. For no purpose I remain here. Resisting the call from behind a sealed door. But I will remain as long as I can. Don't open that door. Oh, yeah, you probably want me to open this one? Huh? Oh, yeah, which, uh, which, which door? You know? Uh, get me through that one, hey? Please. Please, I got, I got business to attend to. You know what I mean? Please. Thanks. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh. Got a... Bit of a problem here. Yep. Don't think I like that very much, you know? So we're just gonna... That, that'll get your stream banned, you know? Ah, we don't need to look around, you know what I mean? Just, uh... Just, uh... Oh, hey, 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 just get, get, go through the door, you know what I mean? Please. Please. Okay. Please! Please! <laughs> Oh, fuck. Do 
of a night terror story? I do. I have a few. There were there were a few times where I was meditating, and I heard like a weird demonic voice years ago, twelve years ago. So one time I was I was meditating because I, I learned to meditate because I like many other humans was an anxious ball of nerves when I was in my late teens, early twenties. What a surprise. Um, it actually really helped, but. I think I was trying to, like, I wanted to know who built the pyramids. Now, I'm joking. I kind of wanted more than I, I needed. If that makes sense, it probably won't. Yeah, uh, one time I heard a demonic voice, and another time I, I heard someone in my head say to me, What are you afraid of? That was probably just my mind playing tricks on me, but it was, it was a little weird. And I remembered it. It was definitely something that stood out. And another, I mean, night terrors we'll talk about. <clears throat> my friend... Growing up, one of my best friends had some fucking severe night terrors. Like, he was held down. And he used to really, like, he said his house. <laughs> he said his house was haunted. And he, he swore by that. And he said that he could not get out of his bed. On a number of occasions. And he, he used to... I mean, on, on a few... I remember, like, you, you know, you would put your keys down. And they would, like, be moved. They would be in a different spot than where you put them. Not very powerful, these ghosts. They, they had a very limited spectrum of what they could, um... ...interact with. Mostly just house keys and being dicks. But he swore that th they had some pretty nasty night terrors and he couldn't move. I, it happened to me on a few occasions. I, I had... I wouldn't have necessarily chalked them up to ghosts holding me down. But there were a few occasions where I was like in that weird twilight between waking and sleeping state. And I just couldn't move. Like, my muscles did not respond to my brain's commands. It's like a sleep paralysis thing. Um, more than a night terror. I mean, I've woken up in cold sweats. Um, I, I don't know, has anyone here never had a nightmare ever? Most people in chat that are saying I've never had a nightmare. I mean, is that even really a thing? Is that, like, possible? I know there's people that say they don't dream, but I've always wondered if... Is it possible to just live a life where you... <laughs> You just dream, don't dream, and that's it. No nightmares. But, yeah, I would- I would definitely say I've had... God damn it. I've- I've had some really fucked up dreams, and I've had... ...things that have happened in dreams that I- I- that I don't even remember what they were, but they would definitely wake me up, and I would just know that something fucked up happened in the dream, but I- I couldn't remember what it was. I don't get nightmares too often. I mean, I, I get, like I said, some just general anxiety before bed. Like probably most people do. And sometimes that turns into a fucked up sleeping experience with some really odd scenarios. Or my favorite is thinking about, like I said a few weeks ago, thinking about everything I've ever done wrong. That's a good time just before bed, you know, when you have to get up early and do cool shit the next day. And then your dreams start reflecting all the mistakes you've made in life. That's, oh man. That is good shit. Anyway, nine, nine, nine. Room 1000. Here it is, the exit. <laughs> Whoa. It's magic. It's a land of eternal nothingness. And sky boobs. Vista sky fatal error. Fuck! Fake sky screensaver has been disabled. Uh, seven... Seven, three, one. Fucking hell. Fuck, this is like a pillar of souls? I did not expect this game to actually have a boss battle. Wait a minute. 
Do I have to do what I think I have to do to those balls? Yay! I killed a piece of meat. I know you'll make a fine specimen. Wait, what? <laughs> How do I get the good end? Listen, let's um, let's take a look on YouTube. With, you know, I mean, no, let me go get the the good ending by playing the whole game all over again. Pretty tragic way too. Wait, Just you died? For you to become a ghost. Good job, by the way, making it this far. So buckle up, soldier, because now I finally think we have enough troops to invade. Fucking Paco Bell's cannon. The time has come, my loyal troops. No longer. Shall we be called cute or adorable? No longer will we be disregarded and ignored. <laughs> For now, we are the most feared army in the world. Oh my god. The Great Skeleton Wars have begun. Yeah, that's the one. That seems to be the main one. There's a different ending for every time you swing the axe. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I've had enough. I've had enough chat for one day. And then Jeff says every ending is a new beginning. Jeff, I swear to God. I swear to God, Jeff, do not tempt fate. <laughs> no, mate, there's like billions and billions of endings, yeah? Nah, it's mental. You've got to check it out. You plant the seed and then it grows into an ending mountain. Oh, it's fucking bonkers, gov. Fucking amazing! Mental! So just prepare to be spooked. What is, <laughs> what is this? Is this supposed to be like a little alien ghost baby? <laughs>